Before we get started in this lesson, let's do something. Let's go into our main media and one more time make a copy of Energy Spot. So I'm going to right click my mouse and go into Duplicate Project. Now it will give us a new one, Spot V2 1. Let's change that to V3. Let me show you a trick here. We click on it and it is selected. So we click again and then get to the front end, back it up a little bit, and basically type in the number 3. So let's start again. It's selected. Without using your mouse to click on it, just actually use your right arrow key, and that will actually put the insert point at the end. Use your delete key to back up, and type in V, and then 3. Little things like that can save you a second here, a second there. I know it's no big deal, but there are so many things that we can do with shortcuts. Let's go ahead and open this up. Double click it. What I want to talk about in this lesson is generators. Now we alluded to them earlier, but let's get a little bit more serious about these things. If we come over, say, to here, these text areas that we have have black in the background. The reason the black is in the background is because you're looking basically at the timeline and the default color is black. It's actually almost transparent, if you will, and we can put anything under that that we want. So if we come over here to this button, we over here, that's generators. Now we have a whole bunch. I've got a ton of them in here. Let's look at them. Let's start with solids. Now solids are, of course, solid colors. You've got custom, can be anything you want, shades of gray, iMovie, which is like a green or a blue screen. Pastels are 25% saturated color. Vivids are 100%. Whites, different things. Let's go custom so we can do whatever we want. So I'm going to select it and drag it over underneath this one, and I want you to push down the audio and put it right underneath like that. Stick it right to the end and trim it up on this side with your selection tool. And there's our first one. Of course it's still black. So if we select it here and go into our inspector, besides the ability to change its size I suppose, the one thing we have if we go into generator is color. So if we click here we can go and change it to any color we want just simply by choosing. I'm kind of partial to the blues and purples. How about if we do something about like that? Okay, so we have like a bluish color in the back as opposed to the black. Now we have others we need to do. We'll talk about that in a second. But maybe I don't want a solid. So let's come down into textures. Textures are kind of interesting. They don't move. They're kind of sitting there. They're like photographs. But you do have options. For example, grunge. If we select and drag it over on top, wait for the plus sign. We want to replace from start or end. It doesn't matter. It's just a photograph. But we don't want to say replace because that would stretch it out again and we don't want to have to go back and retrim it. So we'll say replace from start. And there is grunge. Now if we go into the generator, we do have a texture type. You've got 15 different textures you can use. It's kind of an interesting one. We can also change the tint color if we so desire. Let's say we're at this point kind of happy with that, but we do have several more of these things, don't we? The easiest way to do this would be to select this one, hold down the Option key, and drag it over as a copy, attach it there, and trim it up. Piece of cake, as they say. Let's do the same thing over here, and trim it up. Couple of more. The whole idea here, of course, is I call the rule of consistency in really making sure that when you're doing this, if you're doing a backdrop on our text, that they're all the same thing. Let's do one more over here. And on this one, we can drag it out to here. So we have a new and different background. Now let's look at some of the others that we have. We do actually have backgrounds. And they're kind of interesting, actually. They're like movies. They do things, curtains. And you've got quite a few of these things. Each one would have its own set of options. I don't think we want any of those for what we're doing. Some of the ones that I find really interesting are the ones that are called elements. Let me show you a couple of these. Let me move over to a place where we can see them. One you have is called time code, right down here. Now, if I drag that over wherever I drag it and place it, say, there, the time code it's showing me is the time code of the timeline up here. So think about this. If I stretch that out and put it up there, I will have on my video a time code. If I'm working with somebody else, I can tell them, this is where I want you to be. Go to time code 27 and 14 and make the change here. And then when we're done, we can delete it. Now, if we go into generator, we can change things like the format, the font, the size, the current project in terms of the time code base, or you can use any one of these options that you want. 
You can put a label on it, like maybe TC for time code, I suppose, if you want to do that. We can change the font color in the background. So I use these when I'm doing editing. Before I export it out, I throw it away. I'm going to click and just get rid of it. Let me come way over here again, show you this. We looked at these, but I want to show it to you again because I love these things. Placeholders. Now let's say for the sake of argument that this one right here, I'm just going to say replace from start. We never had that video yet. We didn't get it. But we know the time exactly, and we know kind of what it is. So if I select it down here, we have, well, like long shot, medium shot. We looked at this a little bit earlier, I know. Men and women, all men, all women. How many people? None, actually, in our case. The background, pastoral, is probably fine. Sunny day, whatever. This is going to be wind turbines. It's not an interior shot, obviously. And view notes, and maybe put the words wind turbines right here. So we know what's supposed to be there. Later on, we go, oh, we finally got that video. Great. Let's put it in there. And here it is. And we'll go ahead and grab it and drag it down here and replace from start or end. That's up to you. And there you go. And we've got it replaced. I like placeholder. That's a nice one because you don't always have all the clips you need. You've got shapes. Now, shapes is interesting too. Say we go way over here to our oil pumps, I guess they are. And we go ahead and drag shapes over. And let's put it down here in between. Sometimes you have to play around before you get what you want. And we put it right about here. Now, this is where shapes in combination with blending modes can be pretty interesting. If we come back up to the word video, and we have that selected down here, and we go into blending modes, we actually have the stencil modes and silhouette modes down here. Now, we have a vector shape. It's up there, and it's got a fill. Watch what happens when I do stencil alpha. It's like an alpha channel. Well, we can control exactly what we see of that video. And that's kind of a neat thing. Now, if we select it and go into generator, we can choose a different shape if we want. I think I'll go back to circle. We can change the fill and the color if we're using it that way, even the outline color. We have drop shadows, drop shadow blur, distance, and angle. You have a lot of control over exactly what you're looking at. You even have an outline width, so we can change basically what we see here, total control. Now, I don't like that mainly because of the fact none of the others have that, so it would be kind of weird for what we're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and delete it. The last one up here is counting. And let me go ahead and stick it up here so you can see it. Now, there it is. Now, if we play it, well, it's a counter. But you know what? I'm thinking that I like that counter better than the one I made here. So I'll tell you what, this lesson's about done. In the next lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to actually change out our counter and use that one. What do you say? Let's go ahead and delete this one. Don't forget everything does get saved automatically, so no problem. Let's move on.